Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to this hopefully uh, true mini lesson under two minutes uh, lesson on anchor points. And that's what we're going to talk about. So uh, forgive me if I'm long winded, but let's dive right in. So uh, what we're currently working on right now is some like uh, shapes stuff. You might be at a different point, but uh, let's just go with this. Okay, so I've got this circle that I made. Cool. Uh, so you know that in the effects controls, you can uh, scale it up and you can change the position, things like that. That's cool. Uh, we've all learned how to do that. Uh, but what I want to do is actually, when you click on any one of these, really, but uh, specifically right over here, it says anchor point. And you can see that anchor point is this little blue crosshair. It's right in the middle of uh, the screen. And uh, what is that? Largely, we just kind of ignore it. We're like, yeah, it's a, it's a thing. Uh, so. Well, what that is, is it's like your point of reference uh, to the actual object. So you can see that my circle is kind of off to the side here, but the actual layer itself is a full screen and it's right in the middle. So when you scale this up and down, it stays right in the middle. Uh, but it, what happens if we change that anchor point and you really got to grab it, you, you know, you and sometimes I miss and it's kind of actually a little frustrating. Here we go. There we go. Oh, no. Hold on. There we go. All right. So I got it. And uh, let's put it like, like right in the middle of our circle and see what happens when we zoom in now. So you saw what it, the zoom was doing in previous times, but now you can see it's actually staying centered on that circle. Okay. And uh, right now you might be looking at this and going, uh, what exactly is the practical purpose of this? Well, I, I think the most often used, okay, this is a classic, this is something that you, sh you really ought to know, is something called the Ken Burns effect, okay? The Ken Burns effect, and what that is, is uh, Ken Burns, a very famous documentarian, uh, he um, is famous for taking boring topics like the Civil War and making them interesting. Well, there wasn't any video back in those days. So how do you take all these photos and paintings and give them movement for a documentary, for video? So what he is famous for, I'm going to say inventing. I'm not sure if he truly invented it, but he definitely made it famous, is uh, what's now called the Ken Burns effect. Uh, so what you do, so we've got this, this painting of the Civil War. This is uh, Gettysburg. And let's say that I want to zoom in right here on this, this um, artillery unit, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my anchor point, and I'm going to put it right on top of the artillery unit itself. And then what I can do is keyframe my scale. And you can see that it's actually zooming in on not just the center of the uh, the image, but on the actual cannon group, the uh, artillery group itself. OK, uh, so that is probably your most common usage for it is that that kind of that scaling effect, the Ken Burns effect. Uh, let me show you one more thing that I've I've found useful. Uh, here's, let's pull in the Grinch. Don't ask me why I've got uh, the Grinch on my, uh, just right on my desktop, but here's the Grinch. And uh, let's, let's do something like this, okay? This is actually what we used it for. So uh, right now I've got the Grinch right in the middle and uh, we haven't played with rotation much, but you can actually uh, kind of keyframe rotations like so. All right, so right now, because the uh, the anchor point, he's pivoting right in uh, in the center of that image. So let's undo both of those, and uh, let's change our anchor point, and let's put it like more at his shoulders, uh, you know, kind of center of body. And now when he uh, is going to rotate, let's come back up here and click on our rotation one and two you can see that the uh, the actual anchor point has changed so he's rotating at a 
at a different place. So what I can do now is take this back and change our position, and put them off to the side like this, and now let's hit play. Uh, so now we got him peeking over the side. So uh, there's a uh, probably a million ways in which you can uh, use that that kind of combination of uh, anchor point, scale, and rotation to accomplish a lot of things. So the next time you see that uh, that little blue crosshair, um, that's what it is. So here's what I need you to do for, let's do this, F to prove that you've um, watched and learned this, I want a Ken Burns effect on any image. It only has to be that one image with a scaling effect, Ken Burns effect, export that one, two or three second clip and, um, and send it through on Schoology. Upload it to Drive, link it in Schoology. Okay, and that is your mini lesson. Enjoy.